Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Vlogmas Day 4. We have Jessis here with me. Um, so the first half of the video, we're, or not half, the first little bit of the video, we are going to open my, um, my sock calendar. So Jess is going to do that with us. She has chocolate on her face. Yeah. She was eating chocolate ice cream earlier. So ignore her chocolate face. Um, so we are one? going to do day number four. And then after my calendar, I am going to go into my sample project pan um, update. So let's go ahead and open that up, sis. Open, open, open. Oh, goodness. She's opening the whole box. She's ripping it out. Okay. Okay. So we have coffee socks. Coffee socks. They're long socks. They say stay cozy. So it is cold outside and we are going to stay cozy in these socks. All right. So we got to put them over there. Just tried them on and they're all the way up past her knee. Okay. All right. Sis, thank you very much. All right. So now let's get into my um sample project pan um if you guys don't know this project i do every month well i try to do every month updates um with my sample sample items that i have so i get i used to get the smaller um ipsy bag that had like sample size products so that's mostly where um a portion of these samples come from is that i since switched this is just to try it on the socks for you guys <laughs> okay sissy um but i have a bunch that i want to work through so this project kind of helps me work through my <laughs> sample sizes instead of um working on bless like a full size full size product bless you so i did have two empties from last month um from october yeah, I think I didn't, I didn't update this project in November. So this is, would be the October update. So I have two. Uh, okay, so the first product that I did empty out was from Illamasqua. This was the um, Hydra Veil. I think I updated this. I think I did. Maybe I did it. I don't know. If I updated this, sorry guys, these the, these were in my empties. So I think I emptied these out last month. Um, so I did empty this out completely. Um, it was a primer. So I was using this as a, as a primer. I don't think I like the primer like this. Um, so I would not, I enjoyed it while it lasted. I would not purchase the full size of it though. Um, and then the next thing that I finished up was from First Aid Beauty. It's the Ultra Repair Hydrating Serum. Um, I think uh, this sample didn't have a lot in it because I, um, once I started using it, I went through it really fast. Um, so, it's, and it says it's safe for sensitive skin, it replenishes, smooth, and softens. So this is what that sample was completely used it up um it was okay i didn't see any big difference so i probably wouldn't uh, purchase the actual full size of this but i am glad to get another sample out of my um out of my yeah out of my inventory or stash would you say um, so the next four items, because I do keep six items in at a time. So the next four are stuff that I'm still working through. Um, one, this Ulta Beauty Tinted Lip Oil. I did roll this in the last update. Um, you can see I did just use a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of this. Um, I actually lost this. It was behind my makeup vanity, so I just found it. Um, or I probably would have used more of this, but this is where we are at with that. Um, I do have another lip oil, um, this one here in, in um, the full size that I use um, frequently. Um, so once that one is gone, I'll probably really, really focus on the other lip oil, the mini one. Next up is from Maybelline. It's the Great Lash very black mascara um i cannot remember the last time i used this 
um but this is what it looks like it's still going strong um not getting clumpy or anything so this will be in the project for a couple more months at least um before i can roll that out um one product that I did not use because I totally forgot I was in this project is the True Fora Triple Action Exfoliator. Um, I did not use this once, so um, no progress at all on that one. I I think I am going to put this in my shower um, and use it at night um, when I do take a shower if I don't have makeup on that day. And last thing was from Clairol. And this is the Root Touch Up. Um, I have been using this light brown shade. If you can see, I have um, almost half of this or, or about half of this one gone. Um, I think it's going to take me a little bit. I do use this for my brows just as a brow powder. Um, so it is going to take me a couple months to get through this probably um, unless I start wearing makeup more frequently. Um, but once I'm done with this one, I'm going to switch down to this one. And then um, I might try this, but I think this one is going to be way too dark for me. So I don't think I'm going to be able to use this one unless I try to use it for something else. So that is my progress on that stuff. So since we did roll two things out last month, um, we get to pick two new products. So I'm so excited. Let me go ahead and grab my bin and or my box and um, let's pick some products. Right here is what my box looks like. I am going to pull these two out because they are um, duplicates. So there we go. This is what it looks like. I do have two boxes. Um, one box is um, newer samples that I recently got um within the last year these are ones that i w that are older and i want to use up before um i put any of the new stuff in so that is what we're working with so if i do pull a mascara um i know i don't have any other lip oils but if i pull a lip product um or yeah that's it really it a mascara or a lip product i'm going to put it back and I'm going to pick a new one. So here we go. Let's choose two different things. Let's see. Let's, see. let's do this one. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to do this. Okay. Here we go. All right, so the first thing I did pull out was, is from Sephora. This is the Mud Mask and Mud Mask Purifying and Mattifying. So this is just a little sample, one-time use. I know I'm going to be able to use this up. If not, then um, I don't know what I what I'm what I'm doing. But this is one sample to use this month. And then I also did pull this Not Your Mother's Beach Babe Texturizing Sea Salt, sea salt Spray. And it's infused with dead sea salt and sea kelp. Um, so just a little sample of this. I don't really do my hair a lot um, because I'm mainly staying at home. Um, so I might be able to get some use out of this. Um, we'll see. I want to see what it smells like. Let's, let's spray it in my hair right now and let's see. Let's see if we can get any texture on my flat hair. That did uh, fluff that up a little bit, if you guys can tell. Let's do the other side, see how flat it is? Now, let's just pull a little bit of this up. Spray it on. And fluff that up. Hmm. All right, so this, and it does smell pretty good too. Um, it doesn't smell like salt. Well, I mean, it smells a little like salt, but it kind of, I think it has like a coconutty scent to it too. 
Um, so these are the new two products that we are going to add to our six uh, or our other four products that were still in the project. Um, so I am going to get working on these products. I actually do have the um, this in my brows today. I think it really it looks really good. It's a good um, color for me. So thank you guys for um, watching this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I am going to be putting new videos out every single day. Um, I do have, um, it might not be like Christmassy related, um, but I do have videos filmed from, um, or clips filmed from our vacation last month. So I think, um, I am going to do, um, for not tomorrow, but the next day I'm going to, um, uh, take a break from my advent calendar that day and um or I might I might film a little clip before and then I'll put in our um vacation vlog I think there's going to be two videos if not three videos from vacation so um you're gonna see uh this video and then tomorrow will be the start of our vacation the next day will be another sit down video and then um, the next one will be the rest of our vacation and then it'll get back into, um, like more, um, vlog style, day to day style, like now. Got me? Got me. Okay. Um, but I hope everyone has a good day and, um, I will see you guys on my next video. Bye guys.